Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play Earthbound. Last time we made our way through the pyramid and then Pooh left our party again. The Dungeon Man. A strange looking tower to the northwest. Oh, yeah, we spoke to a guy in Scaraba who talked about giving us a key, but he lost it. But this guy found it. Great. Oh, um, hello? Oh, this must be Tracy, yeah. Okay, so whenever Pooh left, remember I gave him the Hawkeye? Um, I did that purposely, just so you get this dialogue from the telephone call. Okay. Oh, thanks. Too bad I don't join my party or anything. Hey, Campbell dude. Oh, oh, well, what do you have? I've actually already gone and sold some stuff off screen, just so I can have more inventory slots here. First thing first, we have a french fry pan, which would be great for Paula. I don't know how you make french fries in a french fry pan, like you would use a deep fryer. That's just me though. Or you know, you could bake them in an air fryer. I got an air fryer off of Amazon not that long ago, and it's really nice. Uh, let's see. We have a crusher beam. If you're low on cash, do not buy this for Jeff because he's going to be getting something better really, 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 really like less than a minute soon. Um, but I'm lazy and I like using auto battle and things like that. So I feel I might as well just buy the stupid thing. <laughs> um, here we have a multi bottle rocket. This is the most powerful item in the entire game. It is the best item in the game bar none. A regular bottle rocket would fire one bottle rocket. A multi-bottle rocket fires five regular bottle, or I'm sorry, a big bottle rocket fires five regular bottle rockets. A multi-bottle rocket fires 20 regular bottle rockets. It is insane. But again, make sure that Jeff's speed stat is as high as humanly possible so this accuracy is high so that all of those regular bottle rockets would be able to hit. Um, I'm going to buy some bottle rockets. I'm only going to buy two. Um, I don't want to overuse the multi-bottle rockets, but I also don't want to not have them whenever I need them. And um, you're able to find even more in treasures and everything. It's kind of ridiculous that they give you the most powerful item in the game and you can just buy it right here. It's kind of crazy. The bazooka. That works as a bomb, but it is infinite use, just throwing bombs left and right. But again, we're going to be getting something much better real soon. I get some dick water, but I'm good. Um, everything else is fine. What did I, oh, I need to sell, what do I need to sell? Um, the, where is it? I thought that she had a different frying pan and I don't see it. Did I already, oh, 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 I already sold the frying pan back and I already sold the thing back to him as well. Um, I could sell the slime generator, but uh, I kind of want to hold on to that. I, God, I have so much junk. I have so much junk. Um, I'm going to sell the Sudden Guts pill. There's just so much stuff that they bog you down with. Oh my God, there's so many enemies too. Ooh. Aw. Oh, actually, we have a new enemy here, the Martyr Robot. I was hoping that I would get um, an instant kill or something, but... Not really. Oh well. This is the only new enemy in this entire area right now, so we got to see it. We didn't get to see what it does, but we got to see it, and that's good enough as far as I'm concerned. Ooh. Still crappy level ups for Jeff. He did get some speed, though, so that works for me. Whoa. He said the tower was to the north. Oh! Wow. Look at this guy. That is really cool looking. Kind of strange looking. The thing on top of his head, um, it kind of looks like a bird's nest, and that's what I thought it was growing up, but it's actually, um, boo, get away from me, yikes, I'm gonna hide over here, but it's actually a city, there's like a city on top of this guy's head, so it's just, like, he is huge, he's that big, so we can enter, enter from the rear, well, let's actually use our help, oh, it's just an old key, great. I love how there's a door in his asshole. That just makes me happy. <laughs> what does not make me happy is this music. It's Brick Road. Remember Brick Road from Winters? Oh. 
I'm gonna break the mold and go to the left first. Oh, yeah, a free hotel. Thank you. Because I have the heavy bazooka, or the broken bazooka that I need to fix at 45 IQ. Jeff can fix it to become the heavy bazooka, one of the best items in the entire game. The bazooka was a multi-use bomb. The heavy bazooka is a multi-use super bomb. It is insane. Let's see, the heavy bazooka. Yeah, no kidding. Not only to the to the enemy that you're targeting, but also all adjacent enemies. It is better than his regular attack, bar none. It is the best thing for him to use. Um, so what I want to do is just kind of, yeah, give it to him over and over and over again. Um, it, oh, God, I, I did it wrong. I moved it to the wrong spot. But basically, if you just take the items in his inventory and you kind of give them to yourself, it'll move things around. And then I eventually want that um, item to be in the top slot of his inventory. So let me do that real fast. I got it in the top slot now for easy access. We're good to go. Oh. This is the only dungeon in the entire game that has a doctor and a nurse and a hospital and a healer and everything. Not that you really need them here because the enemies here are really easy there's also an atm here i would imagine that's if um you know what let's actually call up escargo express sure yeah grab the hawkeye um what was i gonna say oh oh um if you didn't bring any money through the pyramid there is an atm there and you can go out and buy multi-bottle rockets and whatnot from that dealer out there oh okay keep that in mind too the first goal is to reach the four ropes. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and you get that for free since the game kind of took it from you. Like, did this guy go to, like, dungeon design school or something? Like, why is, like, it's just so weird. There's not a whole lot of enemies in here. The enemies that are in here are ridiculously weak there is multiple places to heal up for free strewn all about wait is this a bathroom <laughs> and he's contemplating the secret of life uh of course we can't actually go inside the bathroom that would be too much but okay Ooh, that is a useful item. Many of the items in here are not useful, but it is nice to get at least one useful item. And like I said, we have enemies from not only Winters or Dungeon Man or Brick Road, but also from Moonside. This will be the only one that I'm gonna show off because I wanna show off this heavy bazooka. Hopefully it goes through. Wow, even Paul is able to one-shot them. Eh, I won't show off the rest of the enemies in here. I'll wait until I'll the... I don't need a cup of coffee! I'll wait until the enemies can actually survive, a, you know, halfway decently, and then kill them then. Wow, monsters just start moving in whenever you build a dungeon? Who knew? I thought it was the absence of human that built a dungeon. That's just me, though. Oh... That is disappointing! Only five dollars, you cheap bitch! Oh well. What do we have here? That's fine, I'm not gonna... no. Mm -mm. Unless the... wow. Unless these items are good, I'm not gonna worry about them. Um, there's no need for me to, dis to discard anything for a snake. We've already gone over about how the snakes suck. You wrote all the billboards, of course you agree with the opinion. Who was Super Plush Bear? Um, I'll take a Super Plush Bear, why not? We got this cup of coffee I can just get rid of. We are going to be going to a rather difficult spot after um, the reprieve that is Brick Road. So um, the Super Plush Bear will come in handy then, hopefully. Also, while you're in here destroying these really weak enemies... Just use the most powerful PSI attacks. Um, he built a, bu a bulletin board without a message, but this bulletin board does have a message. Therefore, 
It's not without a message. Oh, okay. But anyway, using most powerful PSI attacks, um, because there's so many places to heal in here, so you might as well just do that. That way you could just blast through all these weak-ass encounters anyway. Hmm, bunch of ropes here and a dead end. Is he talking about, like, getting rope burn? I don't know. Or maybe you got burned because you're at a dead end? I mean, that could work too. I don't know. Like, this place... Uh... Wow, way to break the fourth wall there. For this being, like, Dungeon Man's great designed dungeon that he worked his entire life on and built and everything, this place kind of sucks. A dungeon worker. Oh, but thanks for saying of a strong body. That's kind of nice. Yeah, it's just like, I don't know, the treasures aren't all that hot, the enemies are weak, the music is enough to make you go insane. Um... And it's just, I don't know, it's, it reminds me of the monkey caves, with just kind of have to, like, randomly wander around aimlessly, find all sorts of dead ends, get a bunch of useless treasure, deal with item management, like, not a fan. Not a fan of $10 either. Yeah, all of your bulletin boards are completely unnecessary. Why even bother? Uh-oh. Don't fight me! Yikes. And we have another bench here like again what's the point it's just i mean okay i understand oh what's the point of this magic butterfly this i don't understand like you really need a magic butterfly in here to heal me after just getting healed yeah oh let's move on Flash photography is prohibited. Does that mean that the cameraman is not allowed in here? Aw, that sucks. I would love a memory of this portion of my journey. Oh, I don't want to think about your belly button. That's kind of gross, but okay, whatever. This music is horrible! This music is the worst of your accomplishments! Oh my god! There's no flowers in here! This is a dirt disaster! Ugh! Uh, yeah. Okay, so, so so there are a couple of dungeons in this game that are built just to be kind of funny. There's Brick Road, there's the Monkey Caves, there's this place. Um, and it's just like, like they're, 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 they're different and Earthbound wouldn't be Earthbound without these various spots, but that doesn't mean that I have to like them. I don't know. To me, it's just like, I would rather just get on to the next area than have to deal with this. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm done. Like, I'm, I'm done looking at pizzas and, oh god, go away. Oh! We have a lesser mook here. Remember these guys from the department store? Um, let's see. They can... They can, um, diamondize you. So be careful of that. Be wary of that because it's a heavy bazooka in action. And uh, just use the most powerful PSI attacks. If you do get diamondized, well, if somebody other than Ness gets diamondized, you can use your healing gamma to, um, to cure that. But definitely get rid of them as fast as humanly possible because you don't want to deal with diamondization. I've still yet to have used a PSI Caramel, but I might as well grab one. I don't know, I'll drop... Oh, I didn't want to use help. I just wanted to drop it. Okay. Oh, what do we have here? Bully, I am not stressing about the monsters in here. Like, it, it, it is not going to happen, yeah. And he literally, like, has them on display. Like, look at this. The Mad Ducks, you can't actually get to them. It's just some various Winter's enemies. It's just so strange. And then over here, we have some gruff goats. They're a really gruff kind of goat. Well, no shit, you, you think? Um, but but again, we can't, we, we can't get to them. Slimy little piles. 
Yeah. And they're just kind of hidden. The last thing I need is a wet towel. Um, yeah. Okay. Whatever. Might as well rest. I fought those mooks, so that's something, I guess. Yeah, okay. I was just thinking, oh, I actually thought to myself, oh, a treasure! And then I was like, oh no, that's a wet towel. <laughs> But the board down here says that. Uh. Oh, thanks. What if I completely ignore you for making this god awful, horrible dungeon? You healed me again? Do I really need a fourth healing? Like, seriously? Yeah, I remember you. Dr. Andonauts turned you into this? Is he like a mad scientist? The return hole. Okay, by the way, remember where I am right now. We're gonna have to come back here because God forbid we have to only go through this place once. We have to go through this place twice. Thankfully. So he said to go through the return hole. That is the hole that you want to take. This hole is currently blocked off right now. The goodbye exit. Someday. Maybe not today. Maybe not tomorrow. But soon, you'll fall through that hole. And don't worry, we will. At least we get a quick exit out of here. Ugh, oh, moonside enemies. That was just a robo-pump. We've seen them before. We want IQ capsule. Um, for this, let's see. Go ahead and use that one on Paula. Awesome. And we are all the way back at the start. But, like Brick Road said, or Dungeon Man said, He's going to join you now. He actually joins your party. Remember Eve in Mother 1 whenever she joined your party? It's the same sort of thing here. Dungeon Man's going to be here for a bit, and then he's going to leave. I'm ready. Fuzzy Pickles! But yeah, look at him. Look at him go. And let's actually fight some enemies here with Dungeon Man in the party, and we'll get to see exactly what he can do. Let's just have everybody defend. Come on, I want to see Dungeon Man. Yeah, look at that, an attack. 433 damage. He can do all sorts of stuff. He is really, really powerful, really nice to have around, but he's only with you for a really short time. Rather unfortunate. But the thing is, like, okay, when, in Mother 1, when you got Eve, I recommended grinding with Eve because Mother 1 was ridiculous and Eve came right at the end. Um, Dungeon Man, I do not recommend grinding with. There's no need to... This is a much easier game, and Pooh isn't with you, so what's the point? Let's just go to where we need to go. Yikes! I scrapped my poor little teddy bear! Oh! Uh-oh. Oh no! Oh, Your eternal resting place? Why can't you just turn around? What do you mean, your eternal resting place? Oh. Oh. Okay, so yeah, we're completely screwed, completely stuck. Oh, hey, guy who wasn't here earlier. Deep darkness is on the other side of the river. The monsters are very strong, and you can lose your health just by wandering in the swamp. Um, yeah? It's a bottomless swamp. Oh, but we need a submarine. You don't say. I wonder who has a submarine. Oh, in your old vehicle collection. Okay. So, we have to enter, and we have to go all the way back up here to Dungeon Man. I will meet you there. I made my way all the way back up here. There's an old submarine at the back of the dungeon. It can be used across the river. There's a goodbye exit over there. I will take you to the submarine, and don't make a mistake. You need to take the goodbye exit. I cannot tell you how many times as a kid I took the wrong exit. I made the mistake. This is the goodbye exit. Now is the time to enter with courage, because that sign is gone. So, yeah. Blocked you away the first time, but now we can make it. And we do 
fall to a different portion of the dungeon to a treasure that's actually halfway decent. The Talisman Ribbon. Let's see. I think that's on other. Yeah, that's going to raise her defense by 10 points. Very nice to have. And let's continue right along. Oh, why is there a telephone here? Why would that be controversial? It's just a save point, and there's another telephone at the beginning, too. A secret hobby. Remember back in Brick Road, we saw th some things like this? Yeah. So we have an old taxi. We have a crappy-ass bicycle just as useless here as it was useless for us. Wow, Dr. Anjanuts is doing a lot of stuff for you, isn't he? And let's check out the sign here. A broken down old submarine, but the yellow color is purely coincidental. It's not a yellow submarine that we can all live in? No, it's not that. But now we've made it into our submarine. Yeah, this is yet another Beatles reference with the yellow submarine. There was actually, I don't know if y'all would be old enough to know this, but there was actually a movie. <laughs> like, like the Beatles, not only did they make um, songs, but they actually made movies. There was like a Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Heart Club's band movie. There was like a Yellow Submarine movie. They were psychedelic and weird is an understatement. But they were movies. My brother was big into the Beatles, and he forced me to watch those movies. And I remember thinking, these are the stupidest things I've ever seen in my entire life. Why would anybody ever want to watch this? But there I was, sitting there with my brother. He was having a grand old time. Me, not so much. But we've made our way into deep darkness, which we're going to go exploring next time on Let's Play Earthbound. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.